Welcome back everyone, the Google Pixel 5a just came out, so let's go ahead and compare it to the Google Pixel 4 XL, which was the flagship of that time, so now we're comparing a flagship from 2019 to a budget phone of 2021. Now surprisingly, they are kind of around the same price on Amazon, so if you want to pick up either one of these things, the links will be down in the description, you can get them from there and help support the channel at the same time. Now on the front, you do have a little bit of a different setup, so on the Pixel 4 XL, you had a 6 3 inch P OLED display, it's a 90Hz panel, and it's 1440p. And the display on the Pixel 4 XL was actually a pretty good display. I actually liked it a lot. It wasn't ugly, it wasn't bad, it was a pretty good display. There was a little bit of bezel up top, which I preferred over the you know notch that we had on the Pixel 3 XL. And overall, I think it looked like a pretty good phone. The Pixel 5a, on the other hand, visually looks better. It's that hole punch display, so pretty much not a lot of bezel around the whole entire phone. It's a 6.34 inch OLED panel, 1080p. Now you don't have that 90Hz panel and you don't have 1440p, but it's still a pretty good display. I think the display on the Pixel 4 XL was better, but the Pixel 5a's display really isn't that bad either. Now USB Type-C on the bottom, IP certification on both, and you do have a headphone jack on the Pixel 5a, where the Pixel 4 XL actually doesn't have it. So that's another pretty interesting thing to keep in mind. Now the sides of the phone definitely feel more premium on the Pixel 4 XL, but also the back of the phone on the Pixel 4 XL also feels a little bit more premium as well. So that's another pretty big thing to keep in mind. The Pixel 5a has, I guess this like metallic aluminum on the back, but it doesn't really feel like it in my opinion. The Pixel 4 XL had this kind of like rubberized texture on it, which kind of feels a little bit better, but both feel really good and I'm not really complaining about either one. Now you do have those dual camera setups on the back, which we'll go ahead and hit on right now. And surprisingly, the Pixel 4 XL, which was supposed to be a phone that was supposed to be like the best of the, you know, cameras, one of the better, better cameras of that year, it had 12.2 megapixel wide angle lens and then a 16 megapixel telephoto lens, where the Pixel 5a has that 12.2 megapixel wide angle lens, then a 16 megapixel ultra wide sensor. So you're getting the same megapixel count on both, but you're getting an ultra wide sensor over a telephoto, but on top of that, 4K at 30 on the Pixel 4 XL, where the Pixel 5a had 4K at 60 on the back. So that is a really big thing to keep in mind. In my opinion, the camera on the Pixel 5a is a much better camera than the camera on the Pixel 4 XL. On top of that, a lot of the enhancements and a lot of the better things about a Google Pixel is the software of the phone. And with the Google Pixel you know, 5a and the Pixel 4 XL, you're getting the same type of experience because of the software you know, post-processing of the photos. But I am one of those people that personally feel like the Pixel 5a's camera is probably the better one when it comes down to these, as well as the front camera almost identically the same. You're getting a, you know, a 8 megapixel front facing camera on both wide angle lenses, 1080p at 30 on both as well. So there's not really that big of a difference in terms of that camera either on the front, but the back camera is the bigger difference. And this is what's very interesting. Like I mentioned before, when you have a phone like the Pixel 5a, that's a budget phone. It's interesting how that, you know, at 450 is a better camera than this one was, you know, the Pixel 4 XL just like two years ago, not even. So it's very interesting. I really like the Pixel 5a because of this, and it makes me even more excited about the Pixel 6. So in terms of the cameras, that covers it up there. Now hitting on the software, because these both are, you know, soft stock Android, they don't really have too much going on in the background. This is a perfect phone for a lot of people out there if they like stock Android. If you don't like a lot of bloatware, if you don't like anything like that, then both the Pixel 5a and the Pixel 4 XL are going to be solid phones because of that. Now you do have a little bit of a difference in terms of longevity because the Pixel 5a is that older or the newer phone, the Pixel 4 XL may not last as long as the Pixel 5a. So you have to keep that in mind. If you want a phone for the longest duration of time, the Pixel 5a may be the better choice. But the other thing to keep in mind is that both of these phones are going to get custom ROM support. So if you're comfortable with rooting your phone and custom ROMing it, then both these phones are actually pretty solid options. You know, it's not like one is going to outlast the other one, but because of the stock Android approach and the stock software approach, the Pixel 4 XL isn't probably going to last as long as the Pixel 5a, but the Pixel 5a is, you know, the, the 4 XL is still going to be a pretty good supported phone for sure because of custom ROMs. Now battery life, this is another massive difference. The Pixel 4 XL had a 3700 mAh battery. The Pixel 5a has a 4680 mAh battery. So you have a massive size battery on that phone, making it a much better battery life, and you don't have 1440p display. I mean, that's just a killer phone in that standpoint. But the Pixel 4 XL does have wireless charging, which is another disadvantage for the 5a. That phone does not have wireless charging, so that is another thing to keep in mind. But I think the Pixel 5a is a very good phone in terms of the battery life standpoint. Now when they get off with the performance, the Pixel 4 XL, you know, had that Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 chipset and Adreno 640 GPU. 
and 6 gigs of RAM on the two models that it came out with, where the Pixel 5a has that Qualcomm Snapdragon 765G chipset, an Adreno 620 GPU, and 6 gigs of RAM on the one model it came out with. So exactly the same amount of RAM, but the Pixel 4 XL had that flagship chipset of 2019, where the, you know, Google Pixel 5a has that same chipset as the Pixel 5. Now here's what I'm going to tell you, you know, with the Pixel 4 XL, when it first came out, I still think it's a really good performing phone. You know, I still think it's pretty good. At that time, I think phones of that year, you know, like the Galaxy S10 and S10 Plus, those phones were definitely faster than like a Google Pixel 4 XL, which is weird because, you know, you have stock Android. When you have a phone that doesn't have a lot of bloatware and a lot of things going on in the background, that should help, you know, alleviate a lot of the problems that a phone like, you know, a Samsung may have because of its bloated software. But that's not always the case. When you have a phone like the Pixel 4 XL, you know, it's a great phone. I like it a lot, but it just seems like there was just something always missing. And with that year, you know, with 2019, I feel like that was one of those things that probably threw people off the most, in my opinion. Now, with the phone like the Google Pixel 5a, I really don't think this phone, like, it feels any faster than, you know, maybe a Pixel 4 XL because, and this is crazy, because of the lack of that 90 hertz refresh rate. There's just something about having a higher refresh rate that makes the phone feel faster. Even if you're not comparing them, maybe if you're comparing them side by side, the Pixel 5a is the faster one, but because of that 90 hertz refresh rate on the 4 XL, it makes it feel like a faster phone overall. So that is another massive, massive thing to keep in mind. I think a phone like the, you know, Google Pixel 5a may be the faster one, but there does seem to be quite, you know, a, a lot of jittering and a lot of like stutteriness going on that I didn't even really experience on my Google Pixel 5. And these two things have the same, you know, chipset except for the, you know, lack of, you know, six gigs versus eight gigs of RAM on the Pixel 5. You're pretty much getting the same thing. But that 90 hertz refresh rate actually adds a lot more speed than you may think. And it's just kind of placebo effect because it's not actual speed. So I think the Pixel 5a is the faster phone, kind of, but I think the Pixel 4 XL feels like the faster phone. So that's another thing to keep in mind. And I think honestly, to kind of sum up this video and to answer the question, should you go and buy a Google Pixel 4 XL or should you go and buy a Google Pixel 5a? And this is what I'll definitely tell you. You know, these types of comparisons are so interesting because it just goes to show how fast a phone, just like the features of a phone from two years ago of a flagship is now coming to budget phones of this year or quote unquote bunch of phones the google pixel 4 xl i think was a pretty okay phone in 2019 it didn't really knock anybody's socks off it was pretty average at that time especially when we got the iphone 11 pro maxes and the galaxy note 10s you know the google pixel 4 xl they could have done a better job in my opinion but it just goes to show how good of a phone the google pixel 5a is right now and this phone you know is better in a lot of areas than the google pixel 4 xl and i think the google pixel 5a is the better phone between these two if i had to pick up one i would rather have the pixel 5a i feel like the front and the back of this phone i mean the backs look almost identical but the front of this phone looks better than the 4xl even though that one has a higher refresh rate and a higher resolution panel you have a headphone jack on the pixel 5a you have a massive size battery on the pixel 5a where the 4xl still had a pretty decent battery size the 5a just dominates in the battery department making it that much better of a phone the performance isn't that bad and really for the lack of you know being a thousand dollar phone it's 449 i mean that's a very good price to pay for the 5a the 4xl i think is a good phone too but i think i would rather have the 5a and i would recommend a lot more people to buy a google pixel 5a than a google pixel 4xl in my opinion so that really pretty much covers it up if you guys have any other questions or anything let me know in the comment section below hit the like button that would mean so much but definitely hit that subscribe button more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then